morning guys, it's your girl Morning Lankies Go I Baby Pearls. I wanna take you guys with me making breakfast. Everybody's here. <laughs> so everybody's hungry. We just did our fasted cardio. So as our cat is there too. So I wanna show you guys the ingredients that we're gonna be needing. So I've been eating like this like for over, I don't know, nine years. So I don't measure stuff anymore, I just eyeball it. So I wanna show you guys since everybody was asking me how I do my breakfast as you guys saw in my stories so this is what I used so we're gonna have chicken for breakfast so this is from the Prefecta this is the diced grilled chicken and I'm also gonna mix it with turkey patties for a little some fat so this is that and we also have some spinach we have onion and tomato for the salad we're gonna use some eggs too and this is going to be our oats dessert. Everybody's waiting for this moment. I will share with you guys my oats recipe. So we're gonna need only oats and also Splenda and some water. No milk, that's pretty much it. So let's start. Okay guys, as you guys saw in my stories, I've been using Trifecta for a while right now. It saved our prep. So thank you Trifecta for sponsoring this video. So this is my regular, this is one of my favorite from Trifecta. This is a diced grilled chicken. So what I do, I can only, I can actually just put it in a microwave, but I prefer frying them because they usually come in like very juicy when you fry them. So I just put a little bit of oil. Make sure the frying pan is hot enough before you pour all your protein. For some reason, it just cooks better that way. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix it with the turkey patty for some fat. I use sea salt. It is way faster that way. Are you hungry? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's prepping for a show. So as for me guys, I'm still off season, I'm still carving up. So this is going to be my 11th day carb up. So I'm still not in a very strict diet. I can still have some sauce, I can still have some whipped cream, which is I'm gonna show you guys later. But everything else is prep friendly. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a while. I don't recommend closing the, the proteins because I don't want it watery. I prefer the crispy and then juicy on the inside. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and also I'm gonna be using pineapple and blueberry for our oats. Just because. So while I'm cooking the protein, what I used to do, I start doing the oats too because as for lately, I've been making breakfast for four persons. So we got no time for that. So we're gonna start with the oatmeal. So first, I'm gonna be doing Jackie's oatmeal and it's the same amount as how I do it. So I'm gonna have put four, I'm gonna put 30 grams from there. Actually, 40. It's 40. 40 grams. And then I'm gonna put Splenda. Please don't judge. <laughs> I like to put Splenda. I like my Splenda. So, this is how I put it. You can just put as much as you want, as sweet as, as, sweet as you want it to. But for me, I like it this way. And I just mix it like this. And pour some water. So I usually just eyeball it. So it's pretty much 
this much of water because I don't want it too saggy and then the technique is to put it in the microwave before you put it in the air fryer don't just put it in the air fryer just like that or else it won't be crispy so you put it to two minutes and 20 seconds and then it's good for a little bit so yeah this is what i do every single day guys and one of my tips to stay on track is that you have to make your food more fun you know you have to make your food more like appealing for you by the looks by the taste you can always add like but maybe whipped cream or you know good spices and by that you don't really fail the diet right right Dano? 100%. 100% so as for spices this is what I use garlic salt all the time I don't know why everybody doesn't notice that I'm using this they always ask me like what do you put in it what do you put in it like in every meal honestly this is the only thing I put I think the taste tastes different it's because the way how you make the food. Like then again, how I said before. Did you measure the spices or not? No, I just eyeball it because I've been doing this for so long, every day, consistently. So would you recommend to use a lot? Um, it depends on how much a lot for you. For me, I like it salty. That's just me. But I don't really put a lot because, for example, for Fran, he doesn't like it too salty. So I just measure it by how I think everybody would like and then we can all just add up by ourselves. So yeah, I think this is almost ready. As you guys can see, it's a little brown it. So just keep mixing. So yeah. This is how it looks like. It's not so watery, but it's more like kind of dry. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'll just put it here in our air fryer. And honestly, I don't know. I just put it like all the way to the 400 so that it cooks really fast because we got no time for that again. We have four people to feed. <laughs> so I just put it there and I just know for a fact when it's done. I cannot tell you how long does it take, but as if you're gonna do it for the first time, you can just check it, you know, when you feel like you have to check it, you just check it. And I will show you guys also how it's supposed to look like. So I would like the crispy on the top or the outer side and then inside will be like just a little gooey. That's how I like my bones. So this is the first all that I made. As you guys could see, it's kind of hard. And it's like soft in the inside. It's kind of more like bread. You like bread? Yeah. Everybody likes bread. So while we're waiting, the chicken is ready. So I'll just put it separately here. Okay, guys. I like my egg a little more gooey in the middle, not like overcooked, sun side up, that's how we like it. So I'm gonna start with Francisco and Dana's eggs, because you guys have two eggs. So what I do, I'll just let it sit full heat until the bottom is fully cooked and don't worry about the top because I will show you guys how to cook it without burning the whole eggs while keeping the yellow yolk a little more gooish. I think this is how we eat egg in Europe. 
I'm not sure if it's an American thing, but is it an American thing? Or is it a Mexican thing too? Yeah, because in Norway we, we like it like that. That's just how we like it. It is good. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do Francisco's oats. So he's having 75 grams of oats. He also likes it sweet. Please don't judge. Up. And a little more water. So if you guys spill a little water, a little way too much, this is what you're gonna do. So you just have to play in a microwave for almost three, three minutes and twenty seconds. Make sure to not put it in a, in a air fryer when it's very very gooish because it will it will take so long time to cook and it's just gonna be. It won't feel like a breath. <laughs> okay, so so now as you guys can see, the eggs, like under it, is already done. Well done already. So what I like to do, I like to put a little water in here and just pour it here and then close it. So then the steam will just cook to the top of the egg. Now we're doing Dana's oats. Yes. Same as Dana. We're gonna have 75 grams too. Multitasking, baby. Sweet. So no, as you guys can see, the egg is perfect. Also put some spices in it. You don't put salt? This is already salty. Yeah. Sometimes I put Himalayan, but I prefer with the garlic. It just tastes so damn good. So the egg. This is going to be Dana's plate. Perfect. So now it's me and Jackie's eggs. So I'm doing one each, same amount. So you guys just eat one egg? Yeah, because we have protein. And for us, we're like shorties, right? We don't really need so much food to grow. As long as we're not starving and it's just right for our body. We don't have to go like crazy amount of protein, you know, just eat enough protein for your body or else you're just gonna gain weight and just speed it up. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. But this one but we also have turkey with us, so we're also eating turkey. It's not like... Are you starving? <laughs> She's not starving. Okay. So while I'm making the egg, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start measuring our chicken. So for Jackie, I'm gonna give her 60 grams. Really, this. Oh, hold on. I feel like this way is so. You eat this every day, right? Every day. Off season, on season. The on season, I guess I just. In the on season, I just eat less less carbs in the middle of the day but for breakfast it's always the same because this is the most important meal of the day guys breakfast if you want to lose weight do not skip breakfast because you know 
this is all your energy is coming from like from the first meal of the day so don't skip breakfast i feel like a lot of people do skip breakfast Take 80 grams of pineapple and mix it up with blueberry. So, put in my microwave for one minute. Francisco is gonna have it's gonna have 115 gram of turkey chicken slash and so are you 150 115 because you already have enough protein on this one, on the eggs. Okay. So I will get just perfect. Almost done, guys. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Worth the wait. Okay, now. Now we are done making the So I'm just gonna start chopping some. So I put some spinach here. Our plates. So when I chop my veggies, I always make sure I have everything on place, everything that I need so I don't have to go back and forth. I've learned my lesson throughout these years. It saves so much time. You have to make it look nice too, as part of the day? I mean, I like to make it look fancy because it's, it looks more appealing and it tastes better for some reason. I think it's the placebo. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's it, it's better, right? I mean, it's better to eat when it looks nice. So what I do, guys, I always have a bowl or a Tupperware right beside where I'm gonna make food because or chop my veggies because I don't want to just go back and forth and make a mess. So right after I like like I said when we were prepping, we have no time for anything. So what I do, I just put the trash right behind me or beside me and start cleaning while I'm making food so that I save more time because today is Sunday so we, we're not really supposed to go to gym but in our regular days right after breakfast we go straight to the gym we have a schedule to follow so as everybody so as Rod Rod is not here right now but he's, he's on his way from the cardio so yeah everybody's busy so this is time we like onion by the way guys love onion love onion there you go so yeah and it's super simple we just have spinach onion tomato it's super super simple but it tastes good as i said you just have to make your meal more fun don't just you know i mean when i started fitness I was like chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, nothing, like no salt. 
but then I started realizing, you know, like if you want to go farther, if you want to do this long term, you have to make it fun, more like lifestyle feeling. So I did my research. I found some sauces, which is low calorie sauce, spices, and here I am. I love my plan. That's how you do it. Hey. Hey, what's up? Which one's mine? And one of them. It's just the same. The same? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we are done with this, the protein meal, guys. Now I'm just gonna finish off with the desserts. Okay guys, for the sauces, this is what we use for our oats. I'm off season right now so I can just eat this. It only, it's only like 10 calories for 2 teaspoons. So it's really good, it tastes amazing. It's out of almond so it's non-dairy. And Francisco liked this one. This is the sugar-free barbecue sauce. I love my ketchup. And also the French honey mustard. This has only 10 calories, so it's not crazy. Everything is about the calories. It's all about the calories. It's all about the calories. And then the most important. That's bad. This one. It's not bad because it's sugar free. It has calorie, it has fat. But we just put like five of each. You know, five <laughs> yeah, of this five. and five of this. At least me. <laughs> I don't know you guys. Yeah, just five. <laughs> but it tastes so five, good. Five inches a week. Not good. Not bueno. <laughs> not bueno. Why are you guys? And I forgot the pancake sauce, which is no sugar, 15 calorie per two tablespoons. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Almost done guys. I'm starving. So we did our fast and cardio. We went biking in Santa Monica. That lasted for like two hours, right? Two hours? Yeah. I mean it's not that far. Like we can bike there like 40 minutes straight. But we like to just sit down and do our coffee and then just come back. It's still cardio. <laughs> we still have to go home. <laughs> Oh, I just see five of those. <laughs> five of those. So yeah, we can start now. Though. Okay, guys. So if you are like off season, off season, you can just put um, condiments as much as you want, as long as it's low calorie. So I also put crispy onions sometimes if I'm like really craving for something. So I just put my ketchup, just a good amount, nothing crazy. And I also mix it with this French honey mustard. Not so much. This is not much, right? It's perfect. Yeah. And then I just sprinkled it a little bit with 
punch on him. That's pretty much it. That's all you need. This is your off season. This is my off season, okay? But when I do my on season, I still hold on to ketchup and French honey mustard without this one. But very, very controlled. Just because, I mean, probably just put like four dots. Just every bite, you know? And for my oatmeal, so this is what I do. I mix everything like this and I go in with my okay, not so much, not cra nothing crazy. Just like that. And then I put some white chocolate. Let me see what dark chocolate. Nothing crazy, just like that. But I like to separate them so every bite is worth it. <laughs> and then I will put some pancake sauce. Just like that. Delicious. You got that? Good. Are you even dieting? I mean, I mean, this is how I eat all year round, honestly. In all season, I just put a little less condiment or less food. But this is how I eat. This is how I'm used to. I, don't, I barely cheat. I only cheat in special occasion or if I really, really want to, which is rarely. Or if Francisco is chilling, then I just grab something. How is it? Is it good? Look at this. It's almost gone. Almost done? Almost gone. Worth the wait? It's worth the wait. Every single morning. Now, in, uh, for breakfast is when we have the most imagination. Every other meal. Imagination. Meals. Yeah, every other meal. Yeah, like, you know, chicken rice or fish and rice or no rice. <laughs> guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I thank you so much in advance and for more video like this please comment down below and for whatever video you guys want to see what I do just comment down below anything that you want to say and I'll see you guys next time